Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, you may know or you may have heard, or if you've seen my website or follow me on Twitter, you may know that I started a new job last week. Uh, had been laid off from the previous job for cost cutting a couple of years ago. I won't tell you who that company was, but it happens, I guess. So anyway, when in uh, the new store, the new job is about 10, maybe 10, 15 at most minutes, depending on traffic from one of the area card shops. I'd actually been in the card shop uh, probably right after I moved here, so probably about three years ago. Um, I think I may have been in there twice, but it was either just once or twice. Store's pretty overpriced, you know, didn't buy much, but it was on lunch. I figured I'd go give it a whirl, and I knew that they had some 80s wax packs when I was there before, so... I said, what the heck, let's drop in. I had bought, when I was in there one time, I bought one pack of 1984 tops, pulled out the Don Mattingly, so that was cool. Sent it to BGS only to get a six from it, and that's when I learned that you check your cards pretty closely for surface damage. So anyway, you'll see here why I say they're overpriced. Uh, so picked up the rest of their box of 1987 Donruss cards. Check out that price right there. Four bucks a pack. Not worth it. Uh, maybe at one time, maybe when, uh, you know, this was McGuire's rookie, so maybe at one time this was worth it. Um, but yeah, not now. So, there were seven packs left. I just went up to the kid that was working. I was like, hey, what's the best you can do if I take all seven of these? I figured he was going to say 20. He came back at 15. I said sold. So, Basically paid just over two dollars a pack for these. Can get a box of them online. It appears for about thirty. So I'm gonna buy a few, a few of those. But it was cool to walk out with something. But yeah. So you see the price there. They had four bucks on it. I got them for two. Mm, excuse me, two. So winning. One of my favorite things about this box has always been the mystery. This one right here. We don't know who this rated rookie is. You can't see a name, and there is no card that looks like this in the set. It's always been one of those uh, one of those mysteries. To be honest, it kind of looks like Dale Murphy batting, but yeah, whatever. So anyway, picked up all seven packs. Thought it'd be a cool little, little cool little open. There's your box back. I miss the days when you had the cards on the bottom. At least the upper deck still does that with OPG hockey. Uh, you do have box bottom cards, which I think are pretty cool. So. I don't know if they had multiple bottoms. This is definitely the bottom I remember because Conseco was big in 87 and Dale Murphy was my favorite player. But anyway, what we got here? We got a receipt from my lunch that day. I guess we don't need that. But yeah, so seven packs. We're going to give them a whirl. So the haha -ha funny, you know, it is what it is part is that when I was carrying these in yesterday... I literally turned the box to the side and all the packs fell out and hit the ground in my garage. So I honestly anticipate that pretty much all these cards are going to have ding corners or edges. But that's a nostalgia break, so it's all good. So anyway, let's take a look here. Oh, you asked, you may ask why 1987. That is the first year I collected. Uh, ooh, yeah, definitely ding corners on the back there. Yeah. Ah, well, self-inflicted wound. Uh, for Christmas of 1986, my uncle gave me a 1986 hand collated top set. So I started collecting in 97, and, you know, it's kind of formed who I was. So this was one of the two sets I put together that year. I My mom bought me boxes and boxes of tops and Donruss. Um, and I love the top set, but, I mean, I may love the Donruss set just as much. I love black bordered cards, always have. Maybe it's because this was from my first, you know, my first go-around was with black border and wood border cards, and I love both. So, we got a Roberto Clemente puzzle piece. We got a Moose Haas. Greg Gagne, not to be confused with Greg Gagne, the wrestler. I've never understood that. We got another Double G, Greg Gross. We got the Chicken Man, Wade Boggs. Yeah, none of these would be, you know, not that I would care to grade them or anything, but yeah, none of these are going to be. I got a dinged corner I could feel on the back there. Again, may have been that way when 
you know, I bought them. May have been me dropping them, but whatever. I'm going to put a set of these together anyway. We've got Thad Bosley, Mike Witt. He was a stud there for a little while in the 80s. Dale Swain, Tim Flannery, Bill Madlock, Dwayne Henry with the Rangers, Pedro Guerrero, Rafael Belliard, Wilfredo Tejada, Von Hayes, Diamond King. I love me some Diamond Kings. Man, look at the centering on these top to bottom. Leaves a little something to be desired. And a Tito Landrum. So this is 87. Off the top of my head, the rookies you would find in this set would be, I guess, Bo Jackson would be in there because the 86 traded and updates were his XRCs or rookies. I don't even know how that designation works anymore. I don't really collect modern. Uh, so you had Maguire's rookie card because he had the 85 tops, but this was his actual rookie, I believe. Uh, Kevin Brown was not a rated rookie, but he was in there. Greg Maddox was a rated rookie. Uh, I think he was all the 86 cards that Maddox had were the, again, the traded or something like that. Don't know, uh, I'm sure that I feel like I'm missing a couple. 87 had some decent rookies. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a couple. Maybe we'll, uh, find a nice name one in here that I forgot. Clemeny Puzzle. All right, what do we got here? Jerry Naren. Good old Charlie Huff. Dwight Lowry. I do not even remember that name. That's the first name I don't remember. Terry Kennedy. Good old Tony Fernandez. Bruce Ruffin. Lynn Matuzic. Mike Brown. I don't really remember him as a pirate, but, I mean, there's been a million Mike Brown, so I'll never forget that name. Danny Heap. I need to focus a little bit. Sorry, guys. Wally Joyner, Diamond King. Very nice. 87, Wally Joyner was highly collected. That turned out well. Tito Landrum. Did I see him in the last pack, or was there another Tito? I don't know. Jim Presley. Steve Lake. Hal McRae. And Don Baylor. Two down. Five to go. Ah! That one's getting thrown away. It didn't turn out the way you would want. Corners, uh, yeah, I didn't pay too much attention in the second pack. Ah, yeah, check. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but oh yeah, right there, those corners are bad. Again, self-inflicted wound. What are you going to do? User error. We got another Clemente puzzle. Casey Candell. Ooh, checklist. Brian Clutterbuck. Eric the Red Davis. That probably was a pretty decent card in 87. You know, I had a book for like 50 cents. Frank White, Kurt Stilwell, Dave LaPointe, Dan Pasqua. Good old Tom Candiotti, who, if you don't know, is a big card collector. He certainly had some very high-priced pieces. I can't recall if he still has them and sold them or just sold some. I think he had one of the better 52 Mantles or maybe one of the Wagners. He'd have to look that up, but I know, and I know he sold a lot of stuff off a few years back. But it's cool to uh, know the players collect and love cards like some of us do. Uh, for me, I think the cool thing too is I decided I want to start a knuckleballer collection. Just love those guys that throw the knuckleballs, and he was one. That's why he lasted so long. Alan Ashby, Carl Best, ah, Will Clark. That's a rookie. Have a couple copies of that. He was my favorite back in the day, but. Definitely going to give that one some love, even being as off-center as it is. I may do something special with that because pack pulled myself. I did forget that Will Clark is an 87 rookie. Pat Dodson, rated rookie. Palmero, rated rookie. That is definitely a rookie. And Daryl Evans. Next, Joe Cowley. I do remember that name. Clemente. Got a Clemente in every pack. What do we got? Mitch Webster, Rick Sutcliffe, John Candelaria, Ben Oglivy, Eric Chow, Cliff Johnson, Ed Lynch, Greg Harris, Juan Castillo, Daryl Strawberry. This was another uh, another good one in, for a kid in 1987. Love that one. Barry Jones, Larry Parrish, Rafael Ramirez, Gary Carter, and a Joe 
Cowley. Three to go. Yeah, I feel a little bit. This is the closest so far I've been to the Pack Geek. If you if you have, don't follow him on YouTube, you need to give him a look. But he opens a lot of older cards. Super fun. A lot of 80 stuff. Sometimes earlier. Uh, that's a great that's a great one to follow. Um, I feel a little bit like him today. Uh, Donneris Puzzle Clemente, Steve Lake, who bad corner. Hal McRae, Don Baylor. So those are a couple of doubles. John Denny, Keith Moreland, Diamond King, Tom Browning. They throw a perfect game, I think, a couple years later. Randy Kutcher, I do not remember that name. Is He does not look like Ashton, so I'm going to guess no relation. Jim Acker, Stu Clyburn, Nate Snell, Mariano Duncan, Jesse Barfield, Jim Pankovitz, Dave Leeper, Brian Fisher. Was quite, there was a couple in there, maybe two or th maybe three, hell, maybe, heck, even maybe, I should say, heck, even maybe four of them that I did not recognize those names. A mini puzzle, dead center apparently, or at least center of the chest. We got Bob Brower, another Rafael Ramirez, another Gary Carter, Joe Cowley, Dave Bergman, Mike Maddox, Ken Schramm. Bill Bradley. Man, look at that hat, and look at that alternate stitching. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it looks like they got some uh, yellow stitching on that hat. Super weird. Tim Hullett, Hewlett? I'm going to go with Hewlett. Eric King, Sean Dunstan, Checklist, Out of Focus, Lee Lacey, Bob Walk. Dun, dun, dun. Unfortunately, uh, blogger Bob Walk the Plank, I, uh, he's, from my, he's from my hometown. Uh, if you follow blogs, you probably know who he is. Uh, a couple years ago, started messaging, and he was posting a lot of stuff about WVU and games and stuff, and I said something because I'm from up there. Come to find out, used to hang out with this guy a little bit in a card shop, uh, but I moved away, you know, more than a decade ago. Uh, I lost touch, but a couple weeks ago when I was back in town, we had, you know, stopped and had a drink uh, after he got off work one day and chatted. And then a couple days later, he announced he was done blogging. So apparently I ruined it for everyone. But yes, Bob Walk, maybe the one I use for a picture for my website, and Mike Moore. Yeah, I'm actually going to take out that. Uh, that Bob Walk, and maybe I'll do one with the uh, Will Clark, too. Just have both of them. Last pack. Hope you're enjoying this. I am enjoying the walk down memory lane, even with my beat-up PSA 2 cards. Roberto Clemente Puzzle. David Palmer. Not to be confused with the later Alabama football star, David Palmer. Ron Darling. Greg Walker. Mark Thurman, Gary Reedus. So speaking of bloggers that have recently retired, uh, Gary Reedus is one of Jay Barker fans' guys. I think he's from the area that he lives in. Yeah, Limestone County, Alabama is up in North Alabama, and Wes lives up in that area. Uh, Joe Carter with the Indians, Ray Quinones, George Brett. Chico Walker, I do not remember Chico Walker. Stu Clyburn again. Nate Snell. Mike Flanagan. Bill Allman. Matt Young. And we round out the seven-pack break with an off-center, corner-damaged Ozzie Smith. But, hey, you know what? It was fun. It's a blo you know, it was a blast from the past for me. A walk down memory lane, nostalgia, whatever term you want to use. But... It was definitely fun for me. So, anyway, hope you liked it. At some point in the future, you'll probably have a couple of uh, 87 Donruss box breaks as I go to go ahead and work on a complete set of these. Um, but anyway, that's what I got for now. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe uh, so you get updates on when I post. And I will talk to you later. Happy collecting, everyone.